great cutting over the past three weeks. As we just saw in the non-pro derby final, taken out by Kennedy Marvin. Congratulations to you and that pretty paint horse. Thank you so much. It's such a dream come true. So, you know, it was a um, cool run. You know, a 223, a great <laughs> score. Um, how did it feel out there? I, I couldn't even believe it was happening while it was happening, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> Can you describe the run to us? Put us in the saddle. That mare is so electric, it, it's hard to describe. It was like she was here and she was there, and I was like, I better hang on. <laughs> so your three cows, tell us about those. They were all black, and that's all I remember. <laughs> Not even going to lie to you. <laughs> Why did you choose all black? Well, she, it's, we just did. <laughs> we just did. Okay, so last night you also made the limited non-pro mm -hmm. final. Um, what was your strategy for that? Because the horse had a busy 24 hours. Was it just as a practice run for today or were you going out there to win? So last night we went in and we're like, we're just going to cut some soft cows and go easy. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're not going to ask her for a life tonight. We're going to save it for tomorrow. And she certainly gave it today, didn't yes, she? Yes, ma'am, she did. Okay, so tell us about this horse, Cinderella Cat. You named it Cinderella. Why is that? <laughs> She's my Cinderella story. A rags to riches story? Yes, she is. I had a paint horse when I was a kid, and some circumstances took her away from me that were out of our control. And I always told myself that I was going to have a paint horse someday. And uh, I seen her mama in the sale barn, and she was just a baby on her side and I wanted them so bad and my parents were like the last thing we need is another mare and baby and I was like well I've got five thousand dollars in the bank and they're like well okay you can buy her and it went past five thousand and dad kept bidding and it went to fifty six hundred and he was like Kenley I'll loan you the six hundred dollars <laughs> and uh, so I got to bring them home and it, I started her myself and I worked her until she turned three and then dad took over and She's been my Cinderella story. And how fabulous that you've trained this horse, uh, Dad finished her off for you. <laughs> Describe that process. How was it? Um, was it? Was she easy to train or not? You know, she, when she was younger, she was really difficult, but she taught me that the tougher the horse, the more heart they have. Yes, <laughs> and hasn't it paid off today? And then you got to watch your dad today. <laughs> He's sitting second in the Open yes. Derby Final. How's that feel? That's, that's, I can't even describe it. <laughs> so tell me, what are your thoughts? Why do you think we don't see more paints cutting? They, they are really tough horses. And just honestly, and uh, I think it takes a lot of determination to be like, this one's going to be good. Now, you were looking at selling this horse at one stage. Um, you had, did, the barn name is Keeper, correct? So that, that helped you stick, stick with it? Yeah, that definitely helped me stick with it. <laughs> We might see some more paints cutting after this. What do you think? I have her two-year-old brother that's just as pain as she is. <laughs> well, good luck with that one. Thank Fantastic you. win, and thank you for joining <laughs> us, and um, best of luck with how the Open goes. Thank you, and thank all you guys that made this possible, all my help. I could not have done this without you guys. It means so much to me. <laughs> thank you. Can we mark? <laughs> the mom pro <laughs> <laughs> 2018. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you.